Sending out a Google Form pre-fill can really help out your users get through a form easily if they just have to fill out the basics. So how do we do it? So what I have here is my Google Form that I've set up earlier and these top three, the name, the ticket and the issue are the three things that I want to pre-fill. To get to pre-fill, I go up here and you see these vertical ellipses, click that and about one, two, three, four down, you can see get pre-fill link, click on that. And a pre-fill screen will look like a preview screen will pop up. Down the bottom left, it says pre-fill responses, then click the get link. So let's do that first. So name, Yagi, ticket, we could say uh, 6447. And then issue, we'll say uh, service. And everything else we want the user to really decide on their own. So once we're done uh, with those three items, we click get link and it'll think a bit. And then it says share this link to include pre-fill responses. So click on that. And now you've got a URL with all the details in it. So let me open up a new sheet, a new tab, Chrome tab, and paste in my URL. And now you can see that everything is pre-filled in my sheet. So I've got Yagi here, 6447 and service and everything else is empty for our users to fill out. They can still go ahead and change these. So they might change this to um, banana and they can change the numbers here and they can change the service and keep going on. But it helps lead them in the direction that they're probably going to hit anyway. Okay, so what's that URL look like? Let's have a quick look. Let's go into notepad and paste in the URL. And you can see here, this is the ID for the URL that I'm highlighting. And then we can see these little entries. So we've got the entry and then it's the number of, so this is the code name for this input here. And we can see here that it's Yagi, which is the name we put in as our prefill. And then we've got another entry here and that's for the ticket entry. And the code there was 6447. And then the next entry here, and then the input that we put in was service. Now, if you want to find out how to automate prefill, so it's custom for individual users, there's a link in the description below. Click on it and we'll go through a Google Apps Scripts tutorial for you. That should be pretty easy. Okay, I'll see you there.